Hey what is up guys my name is Eric and in today's episode I'm going to be teaching you how you can do this which is a multi-dimensional array in C++. Let's do this. So first off what is a multi-dimensional array anyways? A multi-dimensional array can be thought of as an array within an array. Now you're probably wondering at this point what do people use multi-dimensional arrays for? I'll give you a few examples. The first one is you can use multi-dimensional arrays to make games. For instance, let's say you wanted to make a simple tic-tac-toe game. Now we know in a tic-tac-toe game, there's a 3x3 three three table. Another example is you can use multi-dimensional arrays to represent like let's say a chess game. So we know that a chess game has a board that has rows and columns and then we could actually specify where each chess piece is by using a multi-dimensional array and storing the location of each chess piece inside each cell. Another example of multi-dimensional arrays are images. You could store images inside of a multi-dimensional array and each cell could represent the color of each pixel inside your image. So let's take a look at how to create a multi-dimensional array in C++. So first off, to create a multi-dimensional array, you first type in the data type followed by the name of the multi-dimensional array and your square brackets. Now, because we're gonna be working with multi-dimensional arrays, we're gonna have to add more square brackets. How many? Well, that depends on the number of dimensions you plan to make. So for a regular array, you simply type in one pair of square brackets, which represents one dimensional. In order to create a two-dimensional array, we're gonna have to add a second pair of square brackets. So basically, the number of square brackets will represent the number of dimensions of your multi-dimensional arrays. Now, again, we're going to be focusing on a two-dimensional multi-dimensional array in our tutorial just to keep things simple. But do know that you can go to third dimension, fourth dimension, and whatever you need to use. So after you do that, you set it equal to a pair of curly brackets followed by a semicolon. And then to make things a little bit easier to read, let's indent that. And then let's fill in our data type. Let's create an integer. And then let's give it a name. So my big array. Now what goes inside each of these square brackets are integers. Now the first one will represent the number of rows inside your multi-dimensional array. So let's say two. In the second pair of square brackets, that'll represent the number of columns inside your two-dimensional multi-dimensional array. So in this case, let's give it a value of four. So what we've done now is we've basically specified that our multi-dimensional arrays have two rows and four columns. So it's a two by four table. Now to store data into our multi-dimensional array, we could do this, a pair of curly brackets. And because this is a multi-dimensional, we're gonna need two curly brackets total because these curly brackets will represent the first value. So two, two. Now inside each of those curly brackets, how many values do we list out? Four, because our second value represents the number of columns. So inside the array of an array, let's say 1, 10, 100, 1000. So that's four values. Inside our second array, we'll do 2, 20, 200, 2000. You could put anything inside here, as long as it's an integer, of course. But of course, you could change the data type and then basically change the values according to that data type. But for now, we're going to keep it simple and focus on an integer-based multidimensional array. Now, to display certain data values inside of our multidimensional arrays, it's the same idea as if it was a one-dimensional array. The only difference is you're just going to have to add in a second pair of square brackets with values inside of it. That's basically it. So, C out. Let's say we wanted to display the value 200. Now, remember that in computers, they count by 0, 1, 2, 3, not 1, 2, 3, okay? So in this case, our first row is represented by index 0. Our second row is represented by index 1. And then 1 and 2 is in the columns section. So that's 0. And then 10 and 20 is in the 1. 100 and 200 is in the 2. So in that case, because we want to display the value of 200, now in our case, if we want to access the value of 200, we have to access the row index of 1 the column index of 0, 1, 2. So my big array and then square brackets and then inside the first one it's 1, column is 
zero, one, two, so it's two. And then let's do end line. So if we were to compile and run this program, we should see 200 as the result. And as you can see, it shows the number 200. Perfect. Now, what if we wanted to change the value from 200 to 300? Simple. Just delete these two pieces of code here. Okay. And then you set it equal to 300. So if we were to see out this again, we should see the value 300. So my big array, one, two, and line. So if we were to compile and run this program, we should see the value 300 instead of 200 this time. And as you can see, it shows the value 300. Perfect. Now, let's say we want to display all of the data inside our array. How do we do that? Well, we could use individual C out lines of code, or we can be smart about this by using for loops. Now, notice I said for loops with the S. So in our past tutorial, we learned that we could use a single for loop to display a single dimensional array this contents right but in this case we're working with two dimensionals so in that case we're going to be using two for loops in fact our for loop is going to be inside of one another so for int and then the outermost for loop which we're working on right now will represent the row value equals zero row less than two row plus plus now inside this for loop, we will create another for loop, and this will represent the second dimension, which is basically the column value. So for int column equal to zero, column less than four, column plus plus. Now inside this innermost for loop, this is where we will type in our code to display the values. So C out, and then my big array row and then inside the next one will be column and then a space so why do we want to add a space in of an, instead of an end line well like i said again a two-dimensional multi-dimensional array is basically a table so if we want to keep it like that once we display it in our program we're going to have to add a space value because when it runs this line of code once it displays one value when it dis runs it again it displays it another value now in order to make it look nice we're going to space it out with a space character but of course you can always change it with a comma and a space like that but for now we're just going to keep it simple and use a space so once this innermost for loop runs four times it'll start the next row so in order to make it display in the next row we're going to need an end line so at the very end of the innermost for loop type in c out end line so if we were to compile and run this program, it should show us what we saw in the beginning of this video. And as you can see, it does. It shows 1, 10, 100, 1,000. And then the second row, it shows 2, 20, 200, 2,000. Perfect. So as you can see, this is how you can use for loops to quickly display all the contents inside of your multidimensional arrays. And with that in mind, you have now learned how to create, use, display, and store data in C++ or multi-dimensional arrays. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. And not only that, if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next time.